Hi, welcome back to Brass. Today's Brass Tack is all about February. We're in February already and we're going back to the calendar. Now, while we have January where you set up deadlines, you've got the taxes, tax schedule figured out, payroll schedule figured out, and your big goals, now in February it's time to plan out how these are going to be accomplished. By the end of January, you had to have all of your W-2s issued and your 1099s issued, which means that you, on some level, closed the books on the prior year. And so now, in, in February, you're ready to look at your hard results from the prior year and make some projections and set some goals. With those goals, whether sales, revenue, uh, costs that you want to reduce, or rollouts, you should think about the time frame for these. And with the, for example, with a rollout or with some new implementation or retooling, whether physically or through people and methods, match up where the revenue is going to match up with the t extra time needed for these different efforts that are over and above your normal operations. That will help you set realistic deadlines on where you can allocate resources to the new while maintaining your overall business objective and your day-to-day -day work. Put that on the calendar on when these activities are going to be finished and then back it up to find the necessary high points in the cash flow where you can then take some salespeople or other personnel and dedicate them to this new endeavor in a peak period that then allows them to jump back in to maintain your profitability and your cash flow. So that is a just a suggestion on how you can match it up. Different businesses are going to do it in different ways. But think about more than one component when you're setting your calendar and setting these deadlines and, and markers so that it's coordinated together. Everyone doesn't always need to realize that, but at the top level, you want to not have everyone running over here to work on something and no one is back over on the other side cranking out the widgets or making the sales. So you want to have a balance in the application of the resources to the new that is coming out while maintaining, maintaining the other. February is also a great time to do personnel reviews and in those personnel reviews you want to look not just at that individual's performance but think about some other aspects and I'm doing another video specifically on performance reviews but that is also another thing for February. How can those be scheduled? It's good to do it at the beginning now that you've got health insurance and other costs known for this year. You can now figure out your pricing and and how that's going to play into your both your overhead and your revenue people so I hope this was helpful check the website for the new blogs coming out and the calendar examples subscribe to see the other videos and share it with anyone who may be interested in progressing in their business because brass is all about helping you help yourself to realize your dreams thanks for watching I'll see you next time